Good Friday evening, everybody. Come on in. I finally made it back again. I tell y'all, I have been busy doing all kinds of Christmas stuff, and I have been very remiss in recording. So I'm trying to catch. I'm trying to play catch up, y'all. Uh, trying to get this Christmas. You know, every year I say I'm not going to do a whole lot of stuff, but for some oddball reason, I always find myself doing all this busy work, this ripping, this running. Because y'all know I got grands and great grands and friends and relatives and all that kind of stuff still. So I find myself doing a lot of things around the holiday because guess why? Because I just love it and I end up doing all this stuff that, you know, you say you're not going to do certain things, but you end up doing it anyway for the love of doing so anyway, y'all, um, Kareem said he would like, you know, he's got to have his daily, his weekly fix of pork chops. So I decided, I said, well, we're going to do a little bit different tonight, a different kind of pork chop. These are, I'm calling these chip chops, and I'll show you why. They're little thin, um, what do you call it, center cut pieces of pork chop. So when you fry them, they look like little chips so that's what he's going to get tonight and i don't think he wants it he's just because he, he really actually he ate before he came home from work so actually really i told him i said well since i thought these shots i'm gonna go ahead and cook them anyway now you can use them you know as a the uh your meat entree or you can just have them for like almost like little snacks because they are quite thin and you just cook them the same way you do regular pork chops and i'm going to make a um Probably a sweet and sour uh, dip or glaze, however you want to call it, to eat them with. Because they are really good when you fry them and then you drizzle them with a little um, a little grape or peach or strawberry uh, preserves. You to just make a glaze for it. So, as you can see, these are very, very thin. Get one to show you. Nice, thin. And they're just all meat. They're center cut chip chops as I'm calling them and I've seasoned them just lightly because they're so thin so you don't put a lot of seasoning what I'm I'm going to go ahead and um I, put, I season them with some um complete seasoning of course and I'm going to season them further with some smoked paprika just to give them that and you know paprika is not salty so you don't have to be too too careful with that and of course I'm going to put some uh, onion and garlic powder on them and then I'll just dredge them in the flour. We'll have some nice little chip chops. I might even pour a little, if I got some cream, I might pour a little cream over them to get a little extra, get a little bit of an extra uh, crisp on them. So let's see what we got. Hold on just a minute and I'll be right back. I'm just talking. I'm not showing what I'm doing. Um, but this is one of those. I said one of those quick guy meal like they're sitting around watching TV or something, watching a game. These would be nice to have out. Uh, just to something just to snack on. I promise I'm gonna get back over here. Promise, promise, promise. Uh, one of the things I'm gonna work on this year, my, again, my kitchen is small, so I think I'm gonna try to work on having like a table, a prep table. So that you can see every single thing I'm doing all the way through, which will make it the the uh, show a lot more interesting than what it is. So let's see what I got in the fridge. What do I have in the fridge? Um, I do not have cream in my refrigerator. I don't see any so far. I say I've not done a lot of cooking this week, y'all. So, since I don't have any cream, I'll make a little buttermilk uh, cream to go on there. Just a second and I'll be right back, y'all. Okay, y'all, I've got my chops all dredged in um, coated rather. I made a little uh, buttermilk coating for them. To make them a little crispy because they're not going to have to fry five minutes hardly. Just so maybe right at five minutes because they're so thin. And uh, what I'm going to do after I get them dredged up real good, 
I think they said in that buttermilk bath, I made a little, remember I told y'all, if you don't have buttermilk, how to make the buttermilk, uh, whatever cream you have, you can even use 2% uh, milk, if you use 2% milk, you just put a um, lemon juice in it until you see that milk get thick and taste just like buttermilk, just put you a little salt or a little seasoning in there with a little salt content. And you got yourself some instant buttermilk, y'all. So, what I'm going to do here, remember, can't have that heat too, 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 too hot. Simply because um, you got milk in there. And milk browns real fast. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead. I've got my little container here. This is like a little butter container. I've got uh, flour in there. And I'm just going to dredge them really good. Hopefully, I can get all of these in a pan at the same time because I want to get these cooked. I'm cooking, y'all. Tonight, y'all know I told y'all I don't hardly cook on Saturday and sometimes on Friday. Well, last night I did not because Tanya and I went to Barb's for a birthday dinner for another friend. So we did that last night and I did not cook. I made. Kareem a big old hoagie and I had that homemade soup and of course he ended up eating pizza so guess who ate the soup and sandwich I ate soup and sandwich and we had such a great time at Bob's house we always have fun when we get together um, some friends I had not seen in almost two years were there so that was good to me I, I love getting together with uh, friends especially when you haven't seen you know since the COVID and all uh you know, people get busy and their life, everybody's life just changed. You know, you, when you sit and think about it, uh, this uh, pandemic has changed not only the landscape itself, it just, I mean, it just really changed some lives without even, we didn't even have to think about it. It happened and the change happened. So, I, I, like I said, I saw some friends that I had not, or a friend anyway, that I had not seen in a long, long time enjoyed seeing her. She's a sweet person, a smart lady, too. Um, but I was just really, really, really glad to see her. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start these chops in. And like I said, don't have the grease too, too hot because we don't want them to get brown before they get done cooking. Okay. Start them out, you know, get the oil really, really good and hot, and then you're going to Turn it all back, just back it all the way back down so that they can cook. Okay? And you don't have to have a lot, a lot of oil in the pan because they are so thin. Uh, if you have too much oil, I, I don't like for mine to like deep fry. I like for them to pan fry. Okay? Because they are this thin. Okay, and there's the second one. I don't know why this is taking me so long. I guess I need. Y'all reckon if I put more flour in there, it would help out? I'm sure it would. That was good. I just needed more flour. I wasn't paying attention like I should have been. So, anyway, uh, this is just one of those little quick things on Saturday night. Mainly because I had bought these chops. I don't want to keep. You know, you can throw stuff and then you grease freeze. I don't like to do it too many times. But these are really thin anyway, so we're going to keep these babies up. Kareem's going to enjoy these. I think he's outside talking to one of his buddies. One of his friends he grew up with down the street, they grew up right here together. And that young man is back here and they still free. I tell y'all, we got less than a week, don't we, for Christmas. I hope y'all got more together than I have, because I'm still to tell you, I always say I'm going to get my gifts wrapped, and I got, I probably got about 25 gifts I got to wrap, so, oh, I'm telling you, I'm so excited about having them, but then when you think about it, what I say I'm going to do every year is wrap as I get them, but I, 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 I haven't made it to that quite yet. I have not made it to that part yet. Okay. I think I got about three more to go. I believe I can get them all in there. What do y'all think? So y'all think? Which one I'm going to leave? Yep, yep, yep. 
them all in here. And these are the last ones battered up, and I got flour here before they use this. So I get the right of package to have the flour all over the stove and on the floor and on the, just everywhere. Okay. So I'm going to those over. Got one more. Now this other one is just going to have to go in here. I'm going to stuff the heat a little bit so they'll fry up a little bit better, a little faster. Okay. That one's trying to get the best not to fit, but it's going to fit. We're going to make it fit right there. Okay, y'all, so we got them all in there. So now, okay, these are cooking. You know, this just was not really a, a meal like I'm going to cook a lot of entrees and all that. I've got some leftover kale. And look, we're going we're gonna to be doing kale all weekend because I just did kale um, the other night. It was so good. Oh, God, it was good. And we ate all two pounds of barb stopped by. And uh, we ate kale and uh, that rotisserie chicken. And it was some kind of good, y'all. I mean, really, it was excellent. And I had decided already, I thought I was going to do kale for Sunday dinner anyway. But once I got a taste for it, I think it must have been Thursday night I took all that kale. But it's just about another service left. Kareem loves it. He loves veggies like cook like the stir fried veggies. So uh, that's what he's going to eat with this stuff. Because I'm not going to do another, I'm not going to do another entree. I'm just going to be, it's going to be, kale. See how nice and brown though? That's what I want to see. The reason why I put that little bread on there. See, you see that? Let's see. Let's see if you can see it again. But see how those two, I've already turned those. But I wanted that nice, um, firm crust on there. Okay. That one will go down there when they fry up their raw up a little bit. But let them, you know, crisp up real, real good. Takes about 10, 12 minutes for them to fry start to finish. So and we will have us some nice crispy chip chops in a few minutes. So hold on and I shall return. As you can see, those chops are frying nicely and they've formed a nice crust that's going to taste so good. It's almost like a... It's like a, a bread around that, and you can either eat bread with it or not, uh, more than likely. I, I'm, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put some of those um, garlic and uh, butter pita bread round to go along with this. Uh, for any of those pita bread rounds, so I'll cook them a couple of those to go with this. Um, but this is just something you can cook up right quick, you know, inside of 30 minutes. You can have it on the, ta you know, out of the pan and on the table and ready to sit down and eat. And of course, I'm frying it with, it's fried, but, you know, it's fried with olive oil. So it's not so, 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 so bad. Um, you, you can take these same pieces of pork and you can pan fry them with just butter and a little bit of seasoning. Whatever you prefer. We prefer them like this. Um, I will probably eat all of one, maybe out of one, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, um, just hopefully you're getting along well with your, with your uh, holiday preparations and getting all your gifts. You know, if you still have lots of gifts to buy, you, know, you have to play Santa Claus. I, I'm just about past the Santa Claus playing stage. Um, I still love doing it. I still love some of the hustle and bustle. Not a whole lot. I, I don't do near as much as I used to. But I still enjoy getting out and about, doing my shopping, and just seeing people out and about uh, celebrating. I, I'm, I'm that type. I'm that person that likes to celebrate. Whatever needs to be celebrated, I'm that person. So, uh, hopefully you're enjoying the season. To me, this is the most most beautiful, it's the wonderful time of the year. 
I mean, that is just doesn't get any better than Christmas time for me. Anyway, I don't know about you all, but for me, this is this is the best time of the year in the world for me. It's so beautiful. Um, and then you know, I think about y'all know me. I'm I'm thinking about the celebration of of Jesus Christ, and, and that just just that just takes me where I need to be for this time of the year with the decorations and the gift giving. I, I just love, love, love doing it. So, hope you all are, uh, even though, you know, I miss my husband this time of year more than any other time, I think, also, even more than our wedding anniversary because we do so much, or we did so much during the holidays, you know, house parties here at the house, going places, buying gifts and all that kind of stuff. So, and, um, I'm encouraging you all, if you do miss someone that you love and they've gone on, just, you know, think back on those good old memories that you made while they were here. And I encourage those of us who still have all of our loved ones here, make good memories with them so that you have those to reflect back on. Because, you know, I never knew, um, I guess now more than ever, I guess because I'm getting older, I realize and appreciate now more than ever precious memories. I remember, I remember the, my mom used to sing that song, Precious Memories. Um, I can't even remember the word. But I know the name of the song was Precious Memories. Oh my God, she used to sing that song, and now I know why. For her, you know, and I can think of, you know, and I'm sure it had other, another meaning outside of just missing a loved one. But when you think about if you make those precious memories, then that's what you have to reflect back on when those people in your life have passed on. So that's where I am now. So I encourage anybody, if someone you love has passed on, hopefully you make some precious memories with them. Even if it's one or two, reflect back on those and they'll help to carry you through those hard times. Okay? Um, let me get a toy. I just love my Christmas plates. I we eat off of them and I use them for serving platters as well. So I'm going to go ahead and start taking my chops out, the ones that are brown, you know. And we always drain them on a paper towel to get the uh, excess oil out of them. Okay. Okay. So anyway, you know, as I always say, you know, and when you start feeling, get that little, uh, I guess it's a feeling of depression. I don't know. A lot of people say they get depressed around this year. I, I start missing family members, especially my husband this time of year. But I don't call it depression. I just call it, I mean, when you miss people, you just miss them when you can't see them. Especially if it's someone that's passed on. To me, it's not depression. And, and for those of you who do have those situations, just go ahead and pray. Pray until you feel better, honey. Just pray. And I, and I guarantee you, the Lord will pull you right on through the eye of that needle. And you'll be feeling better before you know it. Uh, and if you don't have, if you, you know, if you don't have someone to share the holidays with uh, physically, you know, call somebody on the phone. Write somebody a note, send cards. As a matter of fact, believe it or not, that's what I'm doing. Before I started cooking these chops, I was over there at the table. I bought some really, really pretty. In fact, I'll show you one. Some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Christmas cards. I've gotten about 10 of them done. And um, kind of late, but I'm still going to send them out. And uh, got them all addressed. And I happen to have 12 stamps in my wallet. So I said, now you know what? I have no excuse not to send these cards out because I already got my stamps. So it's good. You know, I just feel good doing things like that. So that's part, that's all part of celebrating the season, sending out cards, fixing food, having people in, praying for people, calling people up on the phone, all that kind of thing is all part of uh, the holiday celebration. And I trust that you will do that to make the holidays go better. Because after all, we are celebrating, this is probably the biggest celebration, not probably, it is the biggest celebration in the world to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, it's just a beautiful, wonderful time, and I hope that all of you will partake. Now, what I plan on doing, 
I am going to do Sunday dinner tomorrow, y'all. Not a big meal. You know, we're going to talk about cooking smaller meals leading up to Christmas Day. So I'll be, you know, small, not, not, when I say small meal, I mean, I won't have that many entrees. I'll probably cook two, maybe three things for dinner tomorrow. Because, you know, we're leading up to the big Christmas meal, and we just, we just don't, we're just trying to pull back and with Tony and Tanya. They're very diligent about um, doing their uh, workout. And so their, you know, their diets have changed a lot. And I'm so proud of them because they're doing so well. So um, I will be cooking Sunday dinner tomorrow. Now I'm going to do this little story time. It's what I'm working on, doing story time. So, And I'm going to get back to answering comments as well. So y'all don't hold it against me now. But I still love y'all. I'm not ignoring you because I read your comments. And y'all know I usually answer them most of the time. So. Anyway, this is just a busy time of the year, and these chops are just about done, y'all. So let's get them all out, and uh, we'll get them on a get them on my platter here. Okay, we're gonna make a little bit of sweet and sour glaze to go with those chops. Teaspoon of butter, teaspoon of brown sugar, and this is some pepper jelly. I'm gonna use. Uh, about a couple of tablespoons of pepper jelly. Okay, that should be enough for those. This is I love making little sauces. So simple, so easy to make. Um, let's find some vinegar. A little bit of brag, a little couple of caps full of Bragg's vinegar. I love Bragg's vinegar. Should have shaken that up. That's okay. It's good either way you do. And what I'm going to do is just mix this like so. Mix it around really, really good. And we're going to rip it through the microwave. Okay. I might need a little bit more jelly. I'll put a, a tablespoon full, I think. Yeah, a little bit more pepper jelly. Another teaspoon of pepper jelly. And what I'm going to do too, I didn't put enough rags in there. I only put one, so I shook it up that time to get the mother. They said that's the mother in there. That's the that turmeric in there. So get that little tart taste. So okay. So two teaspoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of. Uh, pepper jelly or whatever kind of jelly you have. I just happen to want to use that pepper jelly. Teaspoon of butter and two caps full of uh, bragg vinegar. And because Kareem likes his stuff hot, he wants everything burning his tongue, I'm going to go ahead and put him a little bit of that slap your mama's and it has a little salt content. So if you want to put a little bit of salt in there, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But it sort of blends everything out for you real good. And if you want to put crushed red pepper, anything hot you got that you want to put in there, let's go ahead and put it. Now that's what it's going to look like before we run it through the microwave. So I'm going to run it through the microwave for about a couple minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. Everything is done. The... Um, glaze is ready you can just dip those chops in there and eat them just eat them just like finger foods or however you can make steam some rice with it or you can get you some leftover kale out the fridge and eat kale with it anyway however you want to eat these this these are chip chops with a um with a uh pepper glaze with a sweet and sour hot pepper glaze made out of hot pepper jelly so anywho guys keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down and until i see y'all tomorrow on the flavor train i'm gonna say good night love you guys keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down to lou